Okay, so today is Friday, and I had a fish sandwich here at at Jamie's Soda Fountain. We like we like Jamie's Soda Fountain. Don't we like Jamie's Soda Fountain? Today, happening right now, is the Palmetto Regional down in Myrtle Beach, and there's things there's things happening down there. I saw some robots scaling. I saw robots going over defenses. I saw a lot of robots trying to shoot for the high goal when they weren't even getting close to knocking down the weakening the defense of the tower. So just just get those balls into the low goal. I don't know why they're shooting for the high goal at this stage of the game. I also hear that some of the Cheval de Freeze plates are breaking. The half inch half inch polycarbonate pieces are breaking. Hopefully that problem gets fixed. There might be might be some spares being made. Maybe there's maybe there's some redesign being done. I don't know. First is trying to make that available for the rest of the week. At the Palmetto Regional we have a couple people from Andy Mark down there, Jerry Bud and Annette Smith are down there. And the first picture we get back from Palmetto Regional was a picture of Annette Smith and Aaron Hill from Vex inspecting together. So it was Andy Mark and Vex inspecting together. We have a picture somewhere right here of those two inspecting, so that's kind of neat. We did see, I'm sure you saw also if, if you've been paying attention, the 118 Robonauts video came out this week of their robot. Um, I forget the name of the robot. Uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. That's a pretty awesome video. I, I especially like the harpoon um, um, spring-loaded gun that shoots up to grab the scaling bar. I think it's 1533 put out a robot that has tank treads and swerve on their drivetrain. So, oh my gosh, I love it. I think that's a great thing to do. And I think that uh, any team that is at the same regional or district event as them, you can pretty much, they can pretty much get any innovation award in my book. Tank treads and swerve on the same drivetrain. That's awesome. Plenty of robots to talk about if you're looking for more robots. What's your favorite robot so far that you've seen? 4522, definitely. I like the robot a lot because they completely ignore the defenses and focus solely on the shooting game. They built a, a swerve drive that can't go over most of the driving defenses and they built pretty good intakes for a drive shooter. So if teams aren't watching the Palmetto Regional, they should definitely at least pay attention for a team update, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep paying attention for those. I would assume that we're, we're going to see some sort of an update with the Cheval de Freeze. Either first is going to just have to make a bunch of spares of the same thing and they're going to continue to break or they're going to make some design change um, to improve the design so it doesn't, it can take the shock. Of, of that dynamic application, and, and it's something that it's hard to test this number of this number of iterations of yeah. of travels over the Cheval de Freeze, the, the types of robots that are going over. We don't know exactly what it is. And the, the type of play right now is completely different than week zero. I mean, week zero robots were barely moving, and now we have functional robots that are actually yeah. hitting the defenses hard. Are attempting to drive through the Cheval de Freeze. Yes. Yeah. Hey, speaking of freeze, it's it's kind of it's kind of cold out here, so I'm gonna let you go. We'll see you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend.